I want him gone when I wake up Won't remember his name Or where he's from So, um... So that kind of started things going, yeah. and now uh, you got. And at what point did you do your uh, relative to that your first EP? Uh, that was, I think, that was about. Um, well, that's when the process started. But then you know you have to like write the songs and figure out which songs and and get money. And so then I did a Kickstarter campaign. And uh, if you don't know if you don't know what that is, um, it's a really cool tool to basically um, get people who want to invest in supporting your music mm -hmm. to do that so I did that and then I recorded the EP and then I actually had something because I learned when I was out touring I'm like I don't have anything exactly like, I don't have anything so oh, that was stupid okay let me go and like get something that I can actually sell and, and what brought you out to LA um I got a chance to do a reality show for Bravo mm -hmm. called Misadvised right. and uh it it was an interesting situation I um I was really lucky because the producers were cool and um, I got to be myself and I, they let me put my CDs kind of all over the place. They, they let me find a way to incorporate my music wherever I could um, and I got to move out to LA which was actually terrible at first but I ended up liking it um, eventually and, um, and that's kind of how I fell into the whole YouTube, social media. Uh, world so I am giving up this fight I made up my mind I made up my mind can you tell me a little bit how the, the uh, reality show how uh, you got that opportunity specifically yeah. sure a friend of mine named Julia Allison uh, for years was trying to develop something she was a writer in New York mm -hmm. and uh, she, they kind of called her the real life Carrie Bradshaw okay. after Sex in the City. And, um, and so she finally got the show picked up and she said, can you be on once or twice? And I was like, yeah, it's great, it's great PR. But when I talked to the producers, I was just going through a breakup. And I don't know if you know anything about reality TV, but they're like, ooh. You're going through a breakup, they that's so interesting, <laughs> tell us more. And I, I remember I was just, kind of in a place where I'm like, I don't care, I'll dye my hair blonde, I'll move, I'll do what I have to do. And so they were like, well, actually, do you want to move into this house with Julia, who's the star? So it's Julia and Julia. Oh, and, um, and be on the show. And I thought, oh, okay, why sure, not? why not? <laughs> because the hardest thing about breakups in New York, especially if you live with someone, is finding a new apartment. And it was easier to find an apartment in LA than to find a new apartment in New York. So I was like, whatever. <laughs> and there is nothing left to hold. I'm letting you go. I'm letting you 